I leveled two characters and I did every quest in every zone in the Cataclysm beta. And this is what I learned. So in this video, we're going to tackle the burning question of should you opt for Bashir or Mount Hyal when you're leveling in Cataclysm? And also why it's not Bashir. But we'll get to that later. How long does it take to level from 80 to 85 based on what zone you choose? Does it even matter? And also, I will share my strategy for how I will tackle the launch of Cataclysm so I can get ahead of the pack and have a smooth leveling experience without having to worry about sharing quest mobs. Unless Blizzard decides to put their login servers offline again. I remember phase 3. I don't do that again, okay? And keep in mind this was done in the beta, so it might differ from what we're actually gonna see on the live servers. To settle this age-old debate, I completed all the quests in both zones until each zone respectively and more or less respectfully ushered me into Deep Home. Then I delved into Deep Home to complete all the quests there as well. This also with both characters. On one journey, I did five dungeons and all of Uldum, while on the other, I ventured through a mix of Uldum and Twilight Highlands. So let's crunch some numbers. Clocking in at approximately six hours and 30 minutes, Vashir propelled me to level 82.5. The experience was enjoyable overall, though I encountered more confusion in the latter half. Despite some stumbling blocks, the leveling speed was decent. In contrast, Mount Hyjal demanded about 5 hours and 10 minutes to complete, nudging me to level 82.3. The streamlined questing experience here proved faster, albeit partly due to smoother navigation and fewer bugs. Upon reviewing my footage, a revelation struck. Surprisingly, both characters hit level 82 faster than anticipated. 4 hours and 10 minutes in Vashir and 4 hours and 30 minutes in Mount Taijo. This early attainment of level 82 unveils a game-changing strategy. That GPT helped me write that part. So at level 82, the quest for Deep Home becomes available at the commanding board in Orgrimmar or Stormwind, or any big city for that matter. This actually means that to get to Deep Home as fast as possible, the Vashir route seems to be the winner, but Vashir gives absolutely no reputation. And I mean, you would probably get more reputation with Earth and Ring doing two dungeons with a tabard on when you hit level 85, while Mount Hyjal left me just past Revered with the Guardians of Hyjal, which immediately grants me a bunch of sweet gear pieces and a uh, head enchant at max level. So for the time analysis, comparing my two routes, first I went Vashir to Deep Home plus five dungeons, then I went from 84 to 85 in Oldham. This journey took approximately 22 hours to hit level 85, while the alternate route, which I went Hyjal to Deep Home, 1.5 hours in Oldham approximately, and then I went all of Twilight Highlands from level 84 to 85. This route clocked in at 17 hours and 46 minutes, which is a lot faster if you think like 5 hours, give or take. So the biggest time disparity stemmed from lingering in Uldum despite being level 84 and being ready for Twilight Highlands. So don't stay in Uldum if you're level 84, unless you really enjoy the quests. I mean, the quests in Twilight Highlands give a bunch more experience and it will easily take you from 84 to 85. For anyone wondering about the dungeon route, yeah, I tried to go dungeons, but as a tank, I sat 30 minutes in queue for a dungeon. So I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm just not. Although I did some calculating here as well. At level 84, one 10 minute random dungeon gave me one bar of experience that is with no quests or end of dungeon xp so that means about three and a half hours to four hours from 84 to 85 so if you're a pre-made group and you spam dungeons that's probably faster and my guess is that it would take around 12 hours to reach level 85 if you just do dungeons with a pre-made group so this is my plan for launch i will start in mount hyjal for smoother leveling capitalizing on the Hyjal rep advantage. From there, I will do a swift transition to Deep Home as soon as I hit level 82, followed up by Aldum at 83. And finally, Twilight Highlands from 84 to 85. When I hit level 85, I will log out and I will log into YouTube and I will see if we hit a thousand subscribers yet. If we haven't, I will cry. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm actually not joking. You should probably subscribe right now. But if you really want to know what I will do at level 85, you should check this next video. Ha <laughs> ha